believed at this point at least five people were shot and killed in Terminal 2, the baggage claim area where that gunman opened fire. The gunman uh, then in custody. Obviously, we've been showing you these images captured by someone in the immediate aftermath of that shooting. Uh, at least eight injured. That's the number authorities are going with now. At least eight injured at least five dead. And of course you can see uh, the, the, the fear in the faces of the passengers who stayed in that uh, baggage claim. We've already heard from other eyewitnesses who said people simply began running, uh, shouting to others, there's been a shooting, a shooting, and signaling to everyone to run to get out of the way. And for those of you watching right now who might have loved ones at Fort Lauderdale Airport, uh, we, we understand uh, how uh, fearful you might be and, and we're trying to carefully uh, walk you through this as well. It's our belief that Many people got away from 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 this dangerous area, which, you know, as we all know from our reporting here about soft targets around this country, that not only have authorities talked about uh, the area where you check in, where the ticketing takes place, but also the baggage claim area, because as we all know, that's outside the security uh, perimeter in this post 9-11 world. We all know the long lines at airports. You go through security. But uh, until now, until now, the discussion has been it's almost impossible to secure uh, those soft targets. But what we did hear, and, and this explains the pictures you're looking at uh, right now, is that many of the passengers who were with their families, even past the security perimeter inside the terminal waiting for their flights, uh, that they ran, they began to hide. One woman told us she was hiding in the kitchen, uh, but then were led outside by authorities down the stairs and onto the tarmac. Uh, and we saw hundreds of people, authorities keeping them safe. And you can see one there, one person there on the left guiding people. And the woman we were talking to, David Curley, on the phone, said she actually had to, to stop talking to us. And, and understandably, because she said the, the airport workers had been so good in informing them about what had happened. And that while we were talking to her, they were telling her that they were now going to try to lead her uh, elsewhere and off that tarmac.